Ezra, Shalashi, 3 Ezra, 5. After this were the principal men of the families chosen, according to their tribes, to go up with their women and sons and daughters, with their men servants and maid servants, and their cattle. And Dariavish sent with them a thousand horsemen, till they had brought them back to Yerushalayim safely, and with musical instruments, tabrets, and flutes. And all their brethren played, and he made them go up together with them. And these are the names of the men which went up, according to their families among their tribes, after their several heads. The priests, the sons of Penechach, the son of Aharon, Yahusha, the son of Yahud Sadach, the son of Sarayahu, and Yahu Yachim, the son of Zerubbabel, the son of Shealatil El, of the house of David, out of the kindred of Peretz, of the tribe of Yahuda, who spoke wise sentences before Dariavish, the king of Persia, in the second year of his reign, in the month Nichan, which is the first month. And these are they of Yahuda that came up from the captivity, where they dwelt as strangers, whom Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babel, had carried away unto Babel. And they returned unto Yerushalayim, and to the other parts of Yahuda, every man to his own city, who came with Zerab Babel, with Yeshua, Nechemiah, and Zachariah, and Reeliah, Nachamani, Mordecai, Bilshan, Michpar, Re'eliah, Recham, and Ba'ana, their guides. The number of them of the nation and their governors, sons of Parosh, two thousand, a seventy, rather, two thousand, a hundred seventy and two. The sons of Shevat Yahu, four hundred seventy and two. The sons of Arach, seven hundred fifty and six. The sons of Pachath, Moab, two thousand eight hundred and twelve. The sons of Elam, a thousand two hundred fifty and four. The sons of Zatul, nine hundred forty and five. The sons of Zakai, seven hundred and five. The sons of Bani, six hundred forty and eight. The sons of Bavai, six hundred twenty and three. The sons of Shalom, three thousand two hundred twenty and two. The sons of Adenakam, six hundred sixty and seven. The sons of Bigvai, two thousand sixty and six. The sons of Adin, four hundred fifty and four. The sons of Eter, of Yahiz Kiyahu, ninety and two. The sons of Kelan, and Azveroith, three score and seven. The sons of Azur, four hundred thirty and two. The sons of Hananyahu, a hundred and one. The sons of Arom, thirty two. And the sons of Betsai, three hundred twenty and three. The sons of Azaphorith, a hundred and two. The sons of Mataras, three thousand and five. The sons of Beit Lachem, a hundred twenty and three. They of Nephath, rather, they of Netapha, fifty and five. They of Anathoth, a hundred fifty and eight. They of Beit Sayad, forty and two. They have Kiryat Yaraim, twenty and five. They have Kafariah and Beeroth, seven hundred forty and three. They have Pira, seven hundred. They have Kodesh and Amadi, rather, Amidoi, four hundred twenty and two. They have Rama and Giva, six hundred twenty and one. 
They have Mikmash, a hundred twenty and two. They have Beit El, fifty and two. The sons of Magvish, a hundred fifty and six. The sons of Lod, Hadid and Ono, seven hundred twenty and five. The sons of Yericho, two hundred forty and five. The sons of Hananyahu, three thousand three hundred and thirty. The priests, the sons of Yadayah, the son of Yahshua, among the sons of Elashiv, nine hundred seventy and two. The sons of Imer, a thousand fifty and two. The sons of Fasaron, a thousand forty and seven. The sons of Carmel, a thousand and seventeen. The Leveim, the sons of Yahshua, and Kadem, rather Kadmiel, and Banuas, and Hudavya, seventy and four. The holy singers, the sons of Echaf, a hundred twenty and eight. The porters, the sons of Shalom, the sons of Eter, the sons of Talmon, the sons of Akuv, the sons of Chatita, the sons of Shovai, in all a hundred thirty and nine. The servants of the temple, the sons of Esau, the sons of Chashufa, the sons of Tabaoth, the sons of Kepha, the sons of Kud, the sons of Padon, the sons of Livna, the sons of Chagava, the sons of Achuv, the sons of Uta, the sons of Kitav, the sons of Chagav, the sons of Shamlai, the sons of Enan, the sons of Gidel, the sons of Gehar, the sons of Re'aya, the sons of Ratzin, the sons of Nechoda, the sons of Chaziva, the sons of Gazam, the sons of Uza, the sons of Pinechach, the sons of Ezer, the sons of Bechai, the sons of Achna, the sons of Ma'uni, the sons of Nafu Shachim, the sons of Bachbuch, the sons of Chachufa, the sons of Asher, the sons of Farachim, the sons of Batsluth, the sons of Mechida, the sons of Katua, rather Kutaha, rather Kutha, the sons of Chasha, the sons of Charkus, the sons of Sisara, the sons of Timach, the sons of Netziach, the sons of Chatipfa, the sons of the servants of Shaloma, the sons of Azanya, the sons of Paruda, the sons of Ya'ala, the sons of Darkon, the sons of Gidel, the sons of Shatavyahu, rather, Shafatyahu, the sons of Shatil, rather, Chatil, the sons of Pokareth, Sevayim, rather, Sevayim, the sons of Shavai, the sons of Sarathi, the sons of Mas Yahu, the sons of Gar, the sons of Bazilai, the sons of Suba, the sons of Aphara, the sons of Barodis, the sons of Shephat Yahu, the sons of Alon, all the ministers of the temple, and the sons of the servants of Shaloma were three hundred seventy and two. These came up from Tel Malach and Tel Chasha, Karuv and Dadan, leading them and Imer. Neither could they show their families nor their stock how they were of Yashareel. The sons of Ladan, the son of Bain, 
rather Ban, the sons of Nakoda, 650 and 2. And of the priests that usurped the office of the priesthood and were not found, the sons of Ovedyahu, the sons of Kots, the sons of Barzillai, who married Aquaya, one of the daughters of Barzillai, and was named after his name. And when the description of the kindred of these men was sought in the register and was not found, they were removed, rather they were removed from executing the office of the priesthood. For unto them said Nehemiah and Tershita, rather, and Tershata, that they should not be partakers of the holy things, till there arose up a high priest clothed with doctrine and truth. So of Yashadael, from them of twelve years old and upward, they were all in number forty thousand, beside men servants and women servants, two thousand three hundred and sixty. Their men servants and handmaids were seven thousand three hundred forty and seven. The singing men and singing women, two hundred forty and five. Four hundred thirty and five camels, seven thousand thirty and six horses, two hundred forty and five mules, five thousand five hundred twenty and five beasts used to the yoke. And certain of the chief of their families, when they came to the temple of Elohim, that is in Yerushalayim, vowed to set up the house again in his own place according to their ability and to give into the holy treasury of the works a thousand pounds of gold, five thousand of silver, and a hundred priestly vestments. And so dwelt the priests and the Leviim and the people in Yerushalayim and in the country, the singers also and the porters, and all Yashadael in their villages. But when the seventh month was at hand, and when the children of Yashadael were every man in his own place, they came all together with one consent into the open place of the first gate, which is toward the east. Then stood up Yahusha, the son of Yahud Sadach, and his brethren the priests, and Zerubbabel, the son, the son of Shi Altiel, and his brethren and made ready the altar of the Elohim of Yashadael to offer burnt sacrifices upon it, according as it is expressly commanded in the Sefer of Moshe, the man of Elohim. And there were gathered unto them out of the other nations of the land, and they erected the altar upon his own place, because all the nations of the land were at enmity with them, and oppressed them. They offered sacrifices according to the time, and burnt offerings to Yahuwah both morning and evening. Also, they held the feast of Kukoth, as it is commanded in the Torah, and offered sacrifices daily, as was meat. And after that, the continual oblations and the sacrifice of the Shabbatoth and of the new moons, and of the holy feasts. And all they that had made any vow to Elohim began to offer sacrifices to Elohim from the first day of the seventh month. Although the temple of Yahuwah was not yet built, and they gave unto the masons and carpenters money, meat, and drink with cheerfulness. Unto them of Sidon also in Sor they gave carts, that they should bring cedar trees from Lebanon, which should be brought by floats to the haven of Yafo, according as it was commanded, them by Koresh, king of the Persians. And in the second year and second month, after his coming to the temple of Elohim at Yerushalayim, 
began Zerub Bevel, the son of She'al Tiel, and Yahusha, the son of Yahutzadach, and their brethren, and the priests, and the Leviim, and all they that were come unto Yerushalayim out of the captivity. And they laid the foundation of the house of Elohim in the first day of the second month, in the second year after they were come to Yahuda and Yerushalayim. And they appointed the Leviim from twenty years old over the works of Yahuwah. Then stood up Yeshua and his sons and brethren, and Kadmiel his brother, and the sons of Madiabun, with the sons of Yahuda, the sons of Elidun, with their sons and brethren, all Leviim, with one accord, setters forward of the business, laboring to advance the works in the house of Elohim. So the workmen built the temple of Yahweh, and the priests stood arrayed in their vestments with musical instruments and trumpets, and the Leviim, the sons of Echaf, had cymbals, singing songs of thanksgiving and praising Yahweh, according as David, the king of Yashadael, had ordained. And they sung with loud voices songs to the praise of Yahweh, because his mercy and glory is forever in all Yashadael. And all the people sounded shofars and shouted with a loud voice, singing songs of thanksgiving unto Yahweh for the rearing up of the house of Yahweh. Also the priests and Leviim and of the chief of the, their families, the ancients who had seen the former house, came to the building of this with weeping and great crying. But many with shofars and joy shouted with loud voice, so much so that the shofars might not be heard for the weeping of the people. Yet the multitude sounded marvelously, so that it was heard afar off. Wherefore, when the enemies of the tribe of Yahuda and Binyamin heard it, they came to know what that noise of shofars should mean. And they perceived that they were of the captivity, rather, and they perceived that they that were of the captivity did build the temple unto Yahuwah Elohim of Yashar'el. So they went to Zerub Babel and Yeshua and to the chief of the families and said unto them, We will build together with you, for we likewise, as ye, do obey your Adonai and do sacrifice unto him from the days of Azvaz Arith, the king of Ashur, who brought us hither. Then Zerub Babel and Yeshua, and the chief of the families of Yashar'el, said unto them, It is not for us and you to build together a house unto Yahuwah Eloheinu. We ourselves alone will build unto Yahuwah of Yashar'el, according as Koresh, the king of the Persians, has commanded us. But the heathen of the land, lying heavy upon the inhabitants of Yahuda, and holding them straight, hindered their building, and by their secret plots and popular persuasions and commotions, they hindered the finishing of the building all the time that King Koresh lived. So they were hindered from building for the space of two years. Until the reign of Dariavish, 